They did it, man. Um, did make the video last night. I was, you know, I was just watching all the post game stuff. You know, just soaking in um, the championship. You know, I had, last time one of my teams won a championship was back in you know 2005 when Longhorns won it. Um, I remember that night. Uh, it was a school night too, and I didn't care. I had like chemistry homework. I didn't even do it. Screw it. I'll get a zero. I don't care. Um, and just sitting there and rewatching the highlights from the game and, and watching the interviews with guys. Same thing last night with uh, this Dallas Mavericks team. Uh, you know, after 06, though, when, when when Dallas lost, and mainly after 07, though, when the team had the best record in the league um, and then got dismantled by Golden State in the first round, at that point, I wasn't sure if this team, the way it was, you know, surrounded by Dirk Nowitzki and Jason Terry, and at that time, Josh Howard and those guys, would be able to win a title. And... You know, as the years, these past five years, um, you know, you saw the team retooling, but Cuban had a vision, and, and, and Cuban knew that building around Nowitzki and, and keeping Jason Terry would pay off in the end. And this team is a team in every sense of the word. Um, this, no one, you know, th- this was the team going into the season, going into the playoffs, is that there was a top seed that was going to get knocked out. It was going to be the Dallas Mavericks. And I said at the time, I said, um, I don't think it's going to happen. But as of up, up to right now, the Dallas Mavericks have earned that, uh, have, uh, have earned that stigma of being the soft team that would live up to expectations. But as I've said through these playoffs and as, as we've seen this unfold, this team has earned our respect and earned our faith in them that they can get the job done and that they do have the killer instinct. They do have the heart of a champion. And you saw it tonight. Man... I'm I'm so happy for Dirk. I'm so happy for for Jet, Jason Kidd. You know, the, mainly those three guys. Um, but also, you know, guy, also Sean Marion, who's been in the league forever. Um, Tyson Chandler, who's been working hard. Uh, you know, JJ Barea. Just who would ever thought that a guy like JJ Barea would be in the starting lineup of an NBA World Championship team, but not just be a role player, but be a be a determining factor in the series. Guy played out of his mind. Um, you know, and, and, and you're watching Nowitzki and, this, and, and, you know, Dirk, by his own admission and by just watching the game, he started the game 1 for 12. He had, like, three points in the first half. Ended up being the 4 for 20 at one point. Um, ended, I think, um, 8 for 15 in the second half, but did not play well at all. And he got great looks and was just missing. Just wasn't feeling it tonight. But this team, and Jason Terry was the leading force tonight, was just took over the game and kept us afloat, picked up Dirk when he was falling short. And then he came alive for us in the fourth along with everybody else to finish off the Miami Heat. Um, and you saw how much, and, and I think it really just shows, I really appreciate it because it shows you how much it means to Dirk and how much it meant for him to win it for Dallas, um, to win it with this team. Uh, he even said, you know, I don't think it would have meant as much to me if I had gone somewhere else uh, and won it. Um you know, and it's it's just the the you know everyone knew that last you know that, that Dirk was going to stay with Dallas when he went into free agency, um, just because that's the kind of guy he is. That's the kind of you know, we know that he's a loyal guy. He's a great for the fans. He's great for the game, and he finally this whole play even without the championship, I, I felt like he had validated himself as an NBA player and wouldn't continue to get all the criticism he gets and all the jokes and stuff. He is now an NBA MVP. NBA champion, and I couldn't be happy for him and this team. You know, it's it's championships. You know, for fans, don't come around a lot of time, especially if you're not one of the you know a fan of the big time teams in the in the league. You know, and I'm a Cowboys fan, so I understand if you're a a fan of an NFL team when you win one, that it means a lot to. It. But you know, Dallas Mavericks first time ever win one, um, and it's special. It really is. Um, you know this game, and I, you know what, the the narrative for this is going to be the Miami Heat. I talked about that last time. That the narrative for this series, and you've already seen it today, that the main topic is what happened to Miami. What's wrong with LeBron? What's and 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 the Mavericks are the are the kind of the the on the on the back burner. Like oh, and give credit to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, but that's fine. You know that's it doesn't matter because as a fan now, I don't care. My team won. My team proved they were the best this season. And just 
Because you saw with Miami and in this game, after those three guys, Miami doesn't suck after those three guys, but the Dallas team, the Mavericks, there's so much chemistry throughout the entire roster. Not just amongst two guys or just three guys. The entire roster gets along. The entire roster, I mean, you see how many times when Dallas comes down on offense, how many guys touch the basketball before a shot is made. They, this some of the best ball movement you're going to see. So, it's a special day. Um, I've just been soaking it in, and all the Maver- I know all us Mavericks fans are. You know, we've kind of been the Mavericks always on the butt of jokes here in Texas uh, amongst the teams. You know, the Houston Rockets who haven't been good in a while, but they've got two championships, and of course, the Spurs fans. You know, I've always held it over our heads that you know I'm, I've gone to you know a couple of games in San Antonio to watch the Mavericks, and all the time, and it's not too bad. But people always talk about, hey. Uh, you got any of those banners up there in Dallas? And of course we didn't. Well, now we do. And, uh, you know, someone asked me last night, I was, you know, calling people and stuff. I said, man, you think a repeat? I, you know, that's not even, I don't even want to talk about that. That's not even a, I'm just happy they won. You know, I've got the championship that I wanted. And um, so happy for this team. It's just, it's a good group of guys. And that's another thing. It's like, this has really become the most non polarizing. NBA champion, probably. One of the most. Because I know, now if you're a, a Spurs fan or a team that one of our rivals, I get that. But if you're, if you really had no opinion about the Dallas Mavericks, a lot of people are able to get behind them to win this game. I mean, Dirk Nowitzki, very likable guy, uh, doesn't talk trash like that stuff. Uh, the rest of the, it's just a bunch of old veteran dudes uh, who just finally got their just deserve after so many years of working in the NBA. So I'm so happy right now. It's, it's it's awesome, you know. I've I've gotten to see my teams playing championships these last couple of years, um, just all around, and so I've been blessed with that. It's, but I'm, you guys have heard me if you if you've been following me, you know that I've kept harping on the fact that it seems like my teams keep getting there, but they never close the deal. You saw it last year with the Rangers in the World Series. They finally, after since two thousand five and, and the Texas Longhorns of football. One of my teams finally finished the deal, and I'm so happy. And I'm glad, I, you know, I do love that it was against the Miami Heat, um, getting that revenge. But really, that really has been overblown because in the end, like Mark Cuban, Dirk, and all them said, they just wanted to get one, and they did. So, congrats, Dallas Mavericks. Congrats, Mavericks fans. Um, this one's special, and uh, I don't know if we'll ever see it again. But uh, you know, to see how much it really meant, especially to Dirk. Uh, to what it really meant, you could see the emotion. He had to leave the court before the game before the game was even over uh, because he was so emotional because it meant so much to him. And his his interview with Hannah Storm afterwards, you really saw um, what kind of guy he was and, and what this meant to him, and how appreciative he was to his uh, to the fans and to his other teammates for uh, picking him up and uh, helping him do this. So Dirk, so happy for you, man. You've been great for the state of Texas. You've been great for Dallas, for Dallas sports, and for the Dallas Mavericks. And uh, I hope you stay with us as long as you can. Go Mavs. You're the NBA 2011 champions. We'll see you guys later. Let's go Mavs. We got it done.